So Sherlock is Cisco's first humanoid, and it was designed to be a digital tech engineer. It can solve any problem that a tech engineer can solve. Our customers interact with tech millions of times a year, and those customers often need very quick answers to their problems. Sherlock does this by accepting tech cases and working them from understanding the problem, diagnosing it, to providing the solution to the customer, and then closing out that tech case. The start of Sherlock was really around a need for massive outreach to customers around support experiences. And we started to build a system and realized we could add AI and NLP around that system to create something that is truly revolutionary for tech. So we call Sherlock a humanoid because it's, it's different from a bot, where a bot has a series of commands that you can ask or actions that you can do and it'll respond back to that. With Sherlock, it's trained with natural language. So it, it parses the natural language that a customer uh, uses to ask a question and it responds back in a way that is just like a human responding. Sherlock is unique in the fact that it's a blend of AI ML plus human oversight and overwatchers to make sure that we never give a wrong answer. In the beginning, when Sherlock is still learning, there's a lot of overwatch that happens. But after it takes about 50 to 100 cases, there's very limited oversight. So the more cases we get, the more responses we have, our accuracy improves and the less overwatch or oversight that we need. Sherlock's ML brains always return a percent, uh, you know, prediction and how accurate it believes that prediction is. And so anytime it doesn't feel confident in its answer, it'll bring in a human. And then as soon as a human responds to that question, Sherlock takes that and retrains its brain so it now knows the accurate answer to that question. So it's constantly learning. The business outcome so far is Sherlock has handled 420,000 CAC cases saving millions of dollars. In fact, if we turned off Sherlock tomorrow, we'd have to hire over 530 tech engineers just to do the work that Sherlock does every single day. And so we were down 70% in you know, the, the Bangalore Center from a tech engineer perspective for a period of about a month uh, because of the really the ravishing effects of COVID. Sherlock was able to jump in and actually meaningfully help out with our customers there and help out that work while they were out. The Sherlock team is a team that formed really organically, um, but we're also, also almost not even a team. We don't report to the same managers. We happen to just have the same passion for TAC innovation and improving the customer experience. It's unlocked a lot of opportunities for us to try new things. We have folks dabbling in machine learning. We have folks working on process orchestration. And all of these are things that are going towards the goal of automating these different workflows for TAC. And it's our side pet project. It's not our primary job for any of the people on the seven person team. And that's what I think is truly incredible.